In this video, we are going to look at how to find the curve of best fit using your graphing calculator. You can find the curve of best fit using a TI-83, TI-84, TI-84 Plus, or TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. Finding the curve of best fit is very similar to finding the line of best fit in your calculator. To start out, we're going to make a scatter plot on our calculator. I'm going to move through this fairly quickly, but if you want a more detailed description on how to make a scatter plot, watch my video on how to find the line of best fit. First, we're going to press Stat, and we're going to select Edit by pressing Enter, and we have two columns, an L1 and an L2. We're going to enter in the X values into the L1 column and the Y values into the L2 column. After you've entered in all of the X and Y values, we want to go to second, Y equals, and we want to turn this plot on. So we're going to press enter here. Also we want to make sure that the X list is L1 and the Y list is L2. Now we're ready to graph it. So we're going to press graph. Now, as you can see, I can't really see the scatter plot here, but for a better view of the graph, we can press zoom 9. And now we can see the scatter plot. Now it's time to find the curve of best fit. Hit stat. And now we're going to move with the right arrow over to the calc menu. And we're going to select number five, quad reg. This stands for a quadratic regression. Now there are many other types of curves that we could use to approximate this scatter plot, but in this video we're going to use quadratic regression. So we're going to press five, and then we want to press enter. The letters A, B, and C represent the coefficients of X in the standard form of a quadratic equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, the equation of our curve of best fit is y equals x squared plus 5x plus 4. Now, pause the video and on your own, find the curve of best fit for the following points. The curve of best fit that you should get is y equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 1. 